Well, you know, those those people with the blue helmets are not going home. They'll all die, and the more they send, the more will die. And also, it leaves the door wide open in their own country from wherever they came for revolution. Because, you know, if you have a 100,000-man army and you send 50,000 of them to America to quell riots, and they all, you know, they all get shot, if people don't like the government in place, they get rid of the government. And, and people have sent me letters in third world countries to just that uh, appraisal, so to speak. And so, desperate people do desperate things. And the people who are running things here, they've gone for the whole enchilada, and uh, they're going to lose. It's going to be very painful. A lot of people are going to die. But they're going to lose. And this time we know all of who they are and we'll be able to deal with them. And they're not going to be able to hide, believe me. Bob, have you seen where they are looking for uh, the military is planning for the possible flu outbreak that they're asking uh, Gates to sign a so-called executive order that would authorize the military to uh, begin to conduct planning to execute yeah. a, a, a plan for uh, uh, to where they would uh, assist uh, uh, testing of large numbers or transport of patients. Yeah. It's all part of the world government scheme. Yeah. But people are waking up to it. Um, you know, people who talked about this thing six months and a year and five years ago, and people are coming back and saying, oh, my goodness, that's the way it is. That's the situation. Wait. Go What's ahead. that? No, go ahead. I was just going to. I'm talking today. <laughs> well, that's good. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, I'm just looking for my questions here. <laughs> going leafing through here. I've got two. Two. First one is to uh, from Tony to Bob and Melody. Do you think the bond sale today had anything to do with the price of gold over the last few days? And thanks and keep up the good work. And the answer is of course yes. And um, I, I got a, a link in today's issue, which explains the changes in the Treasury's compilation of figures as to who the buyers are, particularly, uh, these are in the Treasury auction, particularly the foreigners. And what they did is include U.S. dealers in those figures, so they're not 30, 35% of the takedown of the issues offered by the Treasury, as it used to be, is 68%, which is inconceivable. I mean, if you're going to lie, make it believable. And don't say that uh, indirect buyers, which are foreign central banks, are they buying just jumped from 32% to 68%. Nobody's going to believe that. But it shows you how dumb they are. Or arrogant. Arrogance sometimes brings on stupidity. But anyway, um, yes, the answer is yes. And I should have mentioned that earlier when we were talking about the stock market. And what did it do? Uh, it was off around... 35 to 70 points all day. Where did it end up, you know? Stock market? I think it was just down a little bit. If I can tell you here in just a moment. It was 69, minus 69 points when I left to come on the program. No, it didn't, wasn't down that much, I don't believe. Uh, Is it closed? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's closed. You got to pay your bill. 
I know, and I don't know why they keep sending me one. Now, I got another question. It's down 26 the, points. Yeah, well, they got to keep it nice for the Chinese here. here. Yeah. No, I just missed the goal. Byron Munich just went ahead 2 to nothing. Let's see who scored. Well, anyway, um, I got yeah. another one here, and um, it's from uh, Bob Biden. Bob Biden. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening to Financial Survival, sponsored by Discount Gold and Silver Trading, 800-375-4188 for your gold and silver coins. And for your complimentary issue to the International Forecaster. And, uh, Bob, would you like to tell us about the International Forecaster, please? Well, the forecast is about business, finance, economic, social, political issues all over the world. We publish on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So each time it runs around 35 or 40 pages by Internet. And we have a hard copy that goes out twice a month to those who uh, don't, don't are not on the Internet. Uh yeah, our site on the internet, that address is the international forecaster dot com. The international F O R E C A S T E R dot com. If you'd like to email us, that address is Bob B O B at I N T F O R E C A S T E R. That would be Bob at IntForecaster dot com. One eight hundred three seven five forty one eighty eight for your complimentary issue, and of course your gold and silver coins here at Discount Gold and Silver. One eight hundred three seven five forty one eighty eight. If you have any questions, to email us. Use Discount Gold and Silver at Yahoo dot com. Discount Gold and Silver at Yahoo dot and um, they get another question that I do have some here, Bob. Okay. Um, uh, let me see how I can try this. Okay. Um, it's not an easy one. Um. Uh, an excerpt uh, below uh, international initiative to displace Wall Street from its role as the dominant global trading center. The article describes a universal, comprehensive, and international trading platform independent of U.S. dollars and the new U.S. banking system. Can you describe in plain English and explain the implications of the Goldman Sachs, Wall Street, Main Street, Washington? And um, it talks about uh, Germany, Russia, China, Brazil, and it talks about a system of exchange, which is essentially barter, to replace the current dollar reverse reserve system. And uh, it's a system that would bypass the banking system. And... It would also use barter, and they've been doing this already. Uh, the barter uh, uh, concept uh, is, is alive and well. And uh, what is a matching system for auction? Um, what would I call it? Um, exchange, exchanging things, you know. I'll, We'll give you a million uh, pounds of wheat, and uh, and you give us uh, a million pounds of butter, that sort of thing, in exchange for one another. And they, they've been doing that for some time, these countries, the, the BRIC countries. And will uh, New York be supplanted by another place? Maybe. There's a good chance it can be. And so... Only time will tell, but I still think it's uh, probable that something like that would happen. Uh, this question is in from James. What is the latest update, or have you heard anything, or what are your views on on the IRAs? Uh, 
Will they be forced into a, a partial conversion to government bonds during a bank holiday? No, I don't think uh, that will happen in a bank holiday, at least not on the short term. And I haven't heard anything out of Congress as to further hearings on that sort of thing. And so, um, you know, I don't have any new finite 